so now let's start uh, first um, I will just uh, install new Laravel project Laravel new gmap.js okay I'll give name Lara map so I uh, install that in your C WAMP and www okay I'm using WAMP so it will install that meanwhile we'll set uh, we'll get the JavaScript key so go to this URL or just search for uh, Google Map JS API so you'll end up in this site here first thing you have to get a key okay so if you if you see here and you see the base uh, basic map okay basic code so we'll use this URL uh, where we'll need the API key okay so that Google can identify us so make sure you are logged in with your uh, Gmail account and click here and uh, it will give you a key so uh, if you haven't created any other project before so it will directly give you a key okay otherwise select any project okay or create new project okay mm. And create an enable API so it will give us this API key which we, uh, we will be using so uh, copy this and save it somewhere so that uh, you don't need to save just copy it okay so now we have our API key and our Laravel project is also almost done so our uh, project is uh, done installing now i'm going to cd into that Lara map and i'll open that in sublime and we have our api key also so copy and store it somewhere for now now we'll create front page of, of our website so here inside resources I will uh, inside views I will create new folder okay new folder name layouts so inside here I'll create new file called mm, uh, master dot blade dot PSP so I'll create basic HTML uh, Lara map So I'll pause the video and uh, insert some basic bootstrap and jQuery. So here I've inserted bootstrap CDN, here is jQuery and uh, here is bootstrap JS. So here we'll yield some contents. Content. So this is our master layout and we'll extend this layout throughout our app. Next we'll add the Google Map JS API to this master layout. So let's get back to our page where we got our API and we'll copy this and I will save it to notepad here for a while. Okay. So I'll close that and in this uh, documentation page you will get uh, this basic this script tag okay so we're gonna use that so paste that inside so uh, generally paste this below jquery okay so here so now in place of this your api key we'll replace it with our this api key okay and this callback we don't need this for now okay we'll use uh, jquery for that so just remove after this and okay save it 
now I'll format it a while a bit okay so this is our master layout now we'll create our front page extending this page okay so inside view we'll create new file and we call it front dot blade dot PSP so this will be our front page and we'll extend this now in this front page we'll define a div okay with name container here uh, we will define a div with id map or whatever you want okay i will just give it name map so we need this id so here we'll be injecting our main map now we have id in place to show our uh, map here inside here and also we have our javascript uh, google map js api here in our page so now we need to uh, make a script uh, dot js uh, inside our public uh, where is that here public js okay so make new file here and save it as so i'll save it as script.js and i'm gonna use jquery document dot ready function so now here we'll create a map okay now so i'll copy this to make it easier and i'll explain it okay so this is the standard code which you're gonna use while creating maps so it is defined in uh, js library so what we are doing is we are defining a, a variable called map and we are making new object okay google dot maps um, dot map okay and we are getting that id okay map which we defined here in front okay this id uh, in other words we are making map in that location so this object takes uh, another parameter with all the coordinates okay center this latitude and longitude whatever coordinate you will provide that will center it to uh, there so scroll will false means scrolling will not do anything so zoom level is 8 so if you increase that that will zoom in zoom out okay so now save it and we'll so we will uh, load it here in our master so after this js okay we'll load that here src so where is that located slash js so why not use this uh, asset asset function so that is inside js script.js okay okay it is not okay we forgot to use this blade syntax otherwise it will not work okay so now we are loading this script uh, here okay so now let's go to browser and test this so one other thing uh, you have to match that so that uh, not virtual host URL just local host okay uh, with local host so for example uh, if you are using WAMP you can uh, configure that in your httpd host configuration okay so here that should local host should point to that uh, 
lara map whatever name you have given to public folder of that okay so make it so that localhost should point to that so if you are wondering this file is located inside this okay c wamp uh, bin apache this location you can pause the video and look at this okay so here just configure that also in your host file uh, put that entry that will be there by default i guess so what i do is i just load uh, these files which i need in notepad and uh, they will be always there okay so it will be easier next time if i modify these okay so here just configure this and save now if you go to local host okay we also make sure wamp is running okay okay so local host in my case means this location okay wamp uh, lara map public okay so now uh, so now we have to define route so that it should point us to this front page so i will do that in web.php so here it is pointing us to this welcome uh, what i will do is i will just load up that front view okay not welcome front so that will be here inside resources views front not welcome front okay so if i go to home page it should show us this front page and now refresh that okay layout start master not found all right we didn't save that okay okay i created that outside of here <laughs> so my mistake so at the moment we are seeing nothing okay so we don't see our map here because uh, inside our so our script is okay okay so inside your master here not inside meta so this is my mistake so actually you don't need bootstrap for now another style sheet so asset css inside css main dot css so so I have created this file main.css if you haven't uh, just create that inside your public folder and inside CSS this main.css and just define this okay ID and give it height of this 500 whatever you want so it will look just nice okay so height and width so this is it so I've defined that yeah that's okay so now if we go to browser and reload we should see the map okay yeah here it is so now that uh, we have map in our page next we'll make our markers and we'll uh, just construct database so that is coming up uh, next i will see you in the second episode bye